Alexa Wagner, your host of the American Dream. Today I'm in Plainfield, Illinois, and I'm thrilled to shed light on two family-owned, multi-generational businesses that have stood the test of time. Let's check them out. So Christina, I'm so excited to be here today. I know I've been here several times before because I watched this whole place get built. It is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Thank you. And we just wanted to make sure that everybody got a chance to see this amazing place and hear all about how it came to be. Um, I love this entrance because you get to see all the new cars. Well, not everything in here is new, Alexa. Oh, really? Yeah, come on, let me show okay, you. Okay, sounds good, let's go. So you're talking about this old thing? Yep, I know it might look a little familiar. I know you have a beautiful blue Bronco yourself. Yes, but this I is copied my, you. <laughs> this is my baby. This She's is a gorgeous. 1974 Ford Bronco. Christina's gonna tell us a little bit about the history since this is a multi-generational, third-generation business. My grandfather opened the store in 1963 and we are now three generations later, 60 years later still here in not only three generations, but our third building, which has been absolutely phenomenal. And I can't thank the people that we've worked with, our customers, everybody enough for helping us get to where we are today. You know, we've talked a little bit about the past and you can see the present. And for the future of Rod Baker Ford in particular, I know you have ideas of how to kind of blend the history of your dealership and all of the vehicles with the city of Plainfield. And yeah. tell us about that. One thing we are big on here is the history of our community and the history of the dealership. Um, the dealership's part of the history of this town. So absolutely. we absolutely love to showcase that. And that's one thing I'm excited to, to tackle this year is adding some of that history of our town into our accessorized vehicle showroom and really let people see the history of Plainfield and how it's evolved over the years. Well, thank you, Christina, for having us today at this fabulous new dealership. And one of the things we didn't cover is that on Saturdays, Christina is so generous and provides lunch for all of the employees from the Doggy Diner, which is just down the street. And it's our next stop today. Come with us, check it out. From one multi-generational family-owned business to the next, now we're down here at the Doggy Diner, and we are lucky that the owner, Christy Nolan Fraga, is here with us. Explain to me how that all kind of got started. My mom bought the place from some Greek families that Opa. owned it, and she kind of took over and brought her kids right in. We went to school right down the street. Perfect. So she said, kids gotta come and work. She was a single mother, and she put us to work right away. Okay, so I know your expansion went Woodridge, Bolingbrook, Plainfield, Correct. because that's kind of how the evolution of where people were moving. So you kind of yes. like brought the food to where Correct. people were living so they wouldn't have to drive as far. Uh, when did your mom buy the one in Woodridge? So that was in 1985, many, many years ago. And then we've had Bolingbrook now for almost 25 years and now Plainfield for almost 15. Tell us a little bit about your love connection here at the diner. So um, this is a family business and my husband of 20 years, he started working in Woodridge when he was about 18. Oh, it was just okay. all business, all work. Fast forward a decade later, he asked me out on a first date and it was history after that. And now they have a teenage son who dips in and out. He's yes, busy, he's correct. in college. So he's kind of at that same stage where you were. Correct. I mean, it truly is a family owned business. The Nolan family. Yes, yes. Catering by Christie started correct. when? Uh, we started that after we opened Bolingbrook kind of customers calling in, seeing could we make them pasta uh, with the beef? Can we make chicken? So it started out very small and we just started adding onto the menu different items. So now it's expanded to all different sorts of things that we can do for almost any occasion. Well, thank you for joining me on this episode of The American Dream. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks and for having us. We'll see you next time.